BG Cumby here. Got invited out to a wedding, you know. This is how it is sometimes. I know I've been freaking out on Twitter and this whole thing with Keem Star and him dissing me and big leaguing me. I joke around a lot, but this isn't part of the entertainment. This guy seriously pissed me off saying that I wasn't famous enough to fight at his event. But I am a professional YouTuber, you know? I'm seething over my latest internet feud. I'm drawing up battle plans. When a couple of my fans call me up, you know, they actually met through my videos. They say, Cumbie, you know, we're big fans. We would love to have you give me and the wife your blessing. We would love to have you, Mr. Cumbie, at our wedding. I get in my car and I'm there. You know, I'm just stopped getting gas right now. It's an eight hour drive and I'm not even sweating this, you know? That's just, that's just what I do for my fans. It's no sweat, you know? They're not YouTubers or anything either, you know? I don't, I don't do this stuff for clout. I just, I put my suit on, you know? I'm, I'm right off of work. I came in early to grind at work and get my hours in, you know? Got the suit on. I get in my truck and I'm driving out here because I put myself on the same level as the common man. My fans get married and I'm gonna be there at their wedding. And like I said, it's part of being an entertainer. It's part of being the comedian who always comes through. All right, so the wedding is over and I'm out here with a couple big fans of the channel. And I was just gonna do something special, you know, and bring them on the BG Cumbie show real quick and let them say their piece. So, uh, here they are. It was an honor meeting you. Happy you came to a friend's wedding. Yeah, man. A lot of respect, love your channel. Thank y'all, thank y'all. So, uh, is there anything y'all would like to say about me right now? Honestly, like, I'm really impressed by the fact that you actually came. Like, when we hit you up about it, like, you didn't think oh, it really yeah. would. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's virtuous. I, I feel like out of all the out of all the celebrities that I know, I feel like you're one of the only people who would actually show up for one of my friends, our friends, one of your fans, yeah. and actually show up for the wedding. So, so what y'all are saying is y'all don't think Keemstar would have done something like this no. for his fans? No, he wouldn't. He's he's honestly kind of like hungry, money hungry, fame hungry. He would never do something like this for his fans. He doesn't yeah. care about him like that. I agree. I he agree. just sees dollar signs and sees his fans. So um, who's Keemstar? The, YouTube, the little YouTuber, right? Little yeah, Snapchat he's like a or... megalomaniac money grubber. Uh, he yeah. does this little Snapchat show. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. No, dude, no. Just plain and simple. Just no. Okay, so next question. Uh, do y'all think I could take Keemstar in a fight? In a heartbeat. In yeah. a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. He's like, he's like four feet tall. He's fat. No, he's fat. not even a question. It's, he's fat. Yeah, I mean, he's like 47 years old. And, and he's I fat. Just, he's brittle boned, you know? And That's, fat. I like to call him Dusty Bones Keemstar. And he's fat. He's fat. He's really short, fat. fat. Yeah, no, you're good. All right, so I think yeah. that answers it. Thanks, guys. And uh, nice meeting you, man. Thanks I was glad to be yeah, here. Man. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <sighs> Just made it home. As much as this Keemstar beef is eating away at me, I put on my suit. I clocked into work early this morning like any regular old Joe, and I still went to the wedding and entertained. Eight hours there, eight hours back. I got on the mic and did a few jokes, got the crowd laughing. I did my little dance and showed out, even while inside I'm still steaming mad. And all I can think about is kicking Keemstar's A word. But this whole thing got me thinking too. A wedding is such a beautiful thing and knowing this is something Keemstar will never ever experience. His 14 year old girlfriends dump him every time they get a peek down his shorts and have to see that freakishly small, mangled up, hamster sized. You know what I want to say here, but I'm trying not to be too vulgar. I'm trying to keep it clean for this wedding video. The family will be watching. But this isn't about me right now, or old man Keem. Old dry bones Keem, as I like to call him. This is about a beautiful matrimony of two people coming together. And knowing Keemstar will never get to experience something like this. Yeah, it's petty, but it makes me happy. Because it will never be legal to marry a 12-year-old. 
God willing. And that's all Keemstar can do is groom a child bride. He could never get a real woman with curves. That's why he grooms child brides and dates teenagers mostly. And I'm telling you right now, there's going to come a day where he makes some odd trip to Thailand. I don't even want to think about that or go there right now. Just know, we all know what he's up to. Middle-aged white guy going to Thailand alone? This guy's on my radar now, and I'm going to be looking into his books. I'm going to know what he owes on his taxes. He's not going to leave this country without me writing it down in my journal. So we're going to try to take down old man Keem any way we can. Get him on tax fraud, child abduction, or just straight up whoop his A-word in the boxing ring like I really, really want to. But for now, let's just forget about that geriatric old fossil. I want to wish the bride and the groom a happy wedding day. Like I said, I go out of the way for my fans, alright? I did this with no hesitation, no mental reservation, no purpose of evasion, no compensation. I'll show up to your weddings, anything. If you're a teen or a preteen who watches my videos and you get bullied at school, just call me up. I'll show up at your school and beat the snot out of whatever antisocial animal abuser is giving you a hard time. And I guarantee you, a trip to the hospital, courtesy of having to actually fight a man who uses brass knuckles, even in fights against children, is a lesson a young punk bully won't ever forget. I'll beat up old dusty old dry bones Keem, and I'll beat up your 7th grade bullies. I really don't give a crap. So yeah, there you have it. Just showed up to a wedding. Something old man Keem would never, ever do. Old dry bones Keem star. And it's people like this, all of my fans, just the common man and woman out there who isn't a clout chaser who I do this for. And that's why I have to beat this dude. I have to, for every person out there he's ever talked down to. I have to beat him. I have to win. He pulled the plug on this grenade. Hey, I'm diving on it. That's just what I do. But to my fans here, to Luke and his wife, you have my blessing. I hope you have eternal happiness. I hope your marriage lasts forever. I hope you have a nice, big, happy family, blessed by God, unlike you know who who will die alone in his McMansion, surrounded by Sky Mall toys and ghetto waterfalls. And his daughter? I don't even want to go there. Going through life with old man Keem as your dad? Having to explain him to all the other kids at school? Let's just say OF is still going to be around in 18 years or so. That's all I'll say there. But this has been BG Cumby. Wishing a happy wedding day to Luke and his wife. Signing off for now. Peace. And chicken grease. Except Akeem Star. He's still going down. But peace to everyone else. And thank you for watching.